with 1984 uh, Corvette with 5.7 liter. I'm just gonna explain to you just briefly. Um, it has a fuel pump issue. Uh, I already tested it, but I'm just gonna show you how I got there. Um, this is uh, cranks, no start. Um, this is just, I'm gonna be focusing on the fuel pump and I'm sure focusing on the relay, what I'm gonna be testing. This is the relay, this is the coil inside the relay. This is a power control module signal, uh, battery signal goes to the relay. Uh, this is already have negative all the time and also has a fusible link positive all the time. So what happened is the computer or the BCM or the ECM, uh, it sent the signal to the coil inside the relay. When the signal goes here, this is becomes magnetized. It will pull this here this way so it will close this contact right here as soon as this is closed that means the battery signal goes to the fuel pump assuming the fuse is good the fusible link is good so the fuel pump will turn on by the computer sending that signal here uh, and they're always the ground down here all the time I'm gonna show you this right on the card how I do it but anyway if you just put the uh, if you put your um, test light here, you should get uh, p power. If you turn the ignition on for like two uh, w for two seconds, you're gonna get power here. Then it's gonna turn turn off. If you have power here within two seconds, that means everything here is good. Everything behind is good. You don't have to go crazy checking everything. This is this will be a, you usually get 12 volt here. And after, as soon as the car starts, this is will be constant 12 volt to the fuel pump. Uh, <coughs> We're gonna go to the car and test it. This is very much how the relay works. Uh, again, this is will become magnetized. It will pull this here, it will close the contact. The battery power goes to the fuel pump. Right, we're gonna check all this right now to pinpoint that the fuel pump is the issue. We're gonna go to the car and show you uh, how I do this right on the car. This is 1984 Corvette with a, nine, with a 5.7 liter, 350 engine. This car been sitting in uh, in the storage for a long time. Um, I already vacuumed all the leaves were around this area here, and also I vacuum uh, by the fuel pump. I'm gonna show you a few things here. I already removed the fuel pump. I covered this with a uh, duct tape so nothing goes inside. Um, anyway, so let's do. This is the fuel pump relay right here. This is the fuel pump relay. It's located in the back here. Back here. With those two, two studs right here. I already removed it to test it. So the ignition is already off. <coughs> Here's a test light. If we go here, we're gonna get power. You can see it, it ha you have power. Okay, this is power. So this is this is the wire where it goes to the fuel pump. Give me one second. So, so this is the fuel pump wire if we have power here for a couple seconds that means the relay is working the fuel the computer is sending the signal to the relay to, to activate the fuel pump let's turn the ignition on watch the um, the test light ignition on Okay, again, ignition on, one second please, ignition on, okay, so it goes off by itself after maybe two seconds, so that means there is power going to the fuel pump from here, well, now we're going to confirm it by the fuel pump area, one more test before I go there, <coughs> I also check this here, the uh, signal on the harness on the fuel injector harness to make sure also there is a, there is a pulse here I'm gonna do this in a minute okay keep your eye on that uh, small little light see if it pulse okay, so we have pulse here that confirms the um, 
the computer also sent the signal to the injector this is good I already checked the spark it's good so let's confirm on the fuel bomb now removing the fuel bomb is not that complicated you just have to remove this cover there are four bolts here the torques 15 here CM you remove all these and this is what come off I already removed the fuel pump, it's right here. This is the harness. The blue wire is the hot wire. Okay, so I'm gonna connect the uh, test light to it and see if there is power coming here. Okay, this is my blue wire. Test light connected, turn the ignition on. You can see the light goes on. One more time. Couple seconds, turns off, okay. All right, so this is con confirmed that we have power to the fuel pump. Also, one last thing you could check, you check the ground. I already checked it, there is, this is the ground wire, and the red one is for your uh, fuel gauge. So we already have a ground, stronger ground. So this is definitely the fuel pump. I'm gonna show you what it looks like after I take it off. You just have to remove all the bolts around here, 10 millimeter bolts or 3.8. Take them off and the fuel pump comes right right up. This is the fuel pump that came out of this car. Look how rusty this thing is. And look what it looks like here. Look at this trainer. It's damaged. I'm sure this is seized up inside, a lot of rust. In and out. So I'm gonna change the fuel pump and I'm also gonna change this whole assembly here. These are the bolts. This is the fuel filler, right here, those are the screws that connected to the fuel tank. You remove them, this is, comes right up. I'm gonna change the whole thing, I'm gonna change the gasket here. I'm gonna change the fuel pump, I'm gonna change the strainer. I'm gonna change the gauge, I'm gonna show you the new one. I bought stainless steel uh, assembly here. I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. So this is the new fuel... Um, this is a new fuel gauge with the whole assembly, stainless steel, it's identical, it comes with a gasket and a strainer, I'm gonna change the whole thing right here, and the fuel bomb also I have it here, show it to you, this is the fuel pump, so when you buy the fuel pump it's gonna be different slightly than the old one, this one has the screws on, this is, has a a harness so the harness from this will fit right in here okay no screws just connected so, so you have no fuel uh, fuel sender gauge or a fuel sender to the gauge and uh, there's a fuel uh, pump a whole assembly that's the issue okay this is just a briefly how I just been pointed to the fuel pump I didn't want to explain anything else at the, in this video so to make it short that's very much uh, what the issue is. Confirmed fuel pump problem. I'm gonna replace it and thank you for watching.